same-sex racist messages have again been found at Framingham State University. And tonight, the student who found the most recent graffiti tells WBZ's Paul Burton she feels threatened. I felt targeted. Okay, I'm a black girl, and I had to find something that was directed towards me and, like, my culture. So it was very hurtful. Abby Gayal Danielle feels threatened and unsafe. The Framingham State University senior says she was first to spot the racist remarks written inside the Horace Mann Hall dorm bathroom. At the first two words, it said, die in black. So I was like, oh, of course, it's one of these situations. So I took a picture of it, and I sent it to my RA. School officials say last Friday, someone marked up one of the women's bathrooms degrading African Americans, specifically oh, black women. It was frustrating to know that someone went out of their way to do that on a month that celebrates, you know, black culture. The school sent out a campus-wide email alerting faculty and students, and this is not the first incident. Back in 2017, police were called to investigate a string of incidents of racist notes being slipped in dorm rooms, sparking a campus protest. It was certainly extremely disturbing and hateful. Millie Gonzalez is the interim chief diversity officer. She says the school has installed video cameras in dorm room hallways and instituted a number of different programs and training opportunities for students about race but says the work is far from over. We're very, very confident um, and we're hopeful that we can find the perpetrator. I think the people who are creating these biased comments are people who are very uneducated and don't fully understand how they can say something that could really hurt someone else. In light of last week's incident, school officials plan to bring in an expert to host a healing circle here at Horseman Hall, a chance for students to come together and share their emotions. It's a way to bring us together and stand with each other. There needs to be some peace on this campus, and hopefully they can find something. In Framingham, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.